All right, we're back on that 88 FJ62, getting the, some of the hard work done on the five-speed swap. Got the cross-member mounts cut off the frame there, moved forward where they go, got them tacked on. Uh, treated it first with some high zinc content, weld through primer. Uh, it's kind of a tight gap up in there to get sandblasted and powder coated. Uh, I just do that as a precaution to make sure it, it gets coated in there one way or another so it doesn't rust in the future. We got the 3FE block, the late FJ60 bell housing, and a H42 transmission case gutted out. That's what I use to mock this stuff up. Uh, unless I'm doing it in a car without taking the body off the frame, in which case I'll just use the original block that's in there. No point in taking it out. But basically, same thing. Use that case, use a bell housing, get it all set in there right. Works pretty good for me. It's the easiest way I've found to do it. And I'm not working around that big, bulky transmission. There's more light in there. I can see better. I can weld better. Uh, on this side of the frame, I'll probably have to do a little more DA work to get those uh, sand marks out to smooth that out a little better. I'm going to make sure the powder coats it and those sand marks don't show through. Uh, changed a couple times on an idea of what to do for the rear of the frame here. I'll probably wind up just taking this cross member all the way out now, getting back in there, all behind all that little triangle there and cleaning it up, treating it with a rust stopper product, 415, rust mort, uh, you know, any number of them that are known to work. Got a new C-channel piece being made at the sheet metal shop right now. Get that back in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hot rivet it all back in. Bolts work um, just fine. Nothing wrong with using bolts in it. But I want it to look like it never came apart. So I'm going to hot rivet those back in. Borrowed a forge from a friend of mine. We'll get those rivets hot. It's probably going to be about a three-man team to buck those back in and get creative with figuring out how to maybe have to build a little bucking bar to get in between that frame to buck the vertical rivets. The horizontal ones will be easy. The vertical ones will be a little more difficult, but we'll figure it out. Got to get that rust on that cross member cleaned up, treated as well. So... That's about it for now. That's the progress. Haven't been able to get back to it for a couple days, but uh, stay tuned. It's uh, moving along now.